Now this is our pond right here. Come check it out, guys. It's gonna be a 13 foot by seven foot by three feet. So it's about 1,600 gallons. It's not only gonna be a Paku pond, maybe even gonna be a breeding pond. These Paku have paired up before and successfully bred. Today's gonna be a little bit wild. We're gonna go ahead and set up this pond with Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, scoop up these fish, add them in. Fish might be jumping, fish might be going anywhere. I don't know what's in store for today, but it's gonna be an absolute blast. Massive fish. Oh, right there, baby. oh my God, come on. This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. All right, Slayers, you already know what time it is. As you guys see, the big long piping, it's about that time for a new pond. Now, the reason we're getting a new pond, guys, is because we have some terrorizers. We went ahead and got these three beautiful Paku. Now, the thing with Paku is they have human teeth and they're fin nippers. And we got some iguanas over there jumping around. He's right there, right above the other black piping. And we might have to go ahead and euthanize that guy too. But stay tuned, those videos are coming out too. Now, if you come over here, guys, you can see we have some beautiful albino paku. And in the mix, there is a massive 30 to 35 pound plus paku. But I know the water's a little different. We got Kitty over here. Kitty, ki come Kitty. Come girl. We got Kitty over here and, and just my tiger shoving us with the hybrid. We only have Kitty as a name, but she's looking good. She's looking thick, she's looking great. She's getting huge compared to what she was before. But the real reason why I'm building this pond is not only for fun festivities and everything, it's because these Paco have been terrorizing one of my most prized fish. Come over here and check it out. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you zoom into the back of that tail right there, you see that there's some flesh, dangling flesh. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see, there but there's some dangling flesh right there. Now, the Paku have been absolutely relentless. I mean, relentless. They have been chewing and fin nipping this guy right here. He loves to chill in the flow. If you look at one of his pectoral friends, he's swimming away. He's pretty messed up. He's pretty messed up. And, and Moby is just such a prized fish. It's not every day you see a channel catfish of that size and caliber and albino as well. So what I'm going to be doing today, guys, is we're going to be setting up a brand new pond. It's going to be a Paku pond only for now. And put these beautiful two albino paku right here. See them right here. These two beautiful albino paku. And you can kind of see the giant. You guys see him? He's an absolute monster. You can kind of see the shadow. I'm not too sure. It doesn't help that I have a lot of algae growing because of the hot summer days. But we definitely can see those albinos. That's the cool part about having albino fish. And why I'm collecting so many platinums and albinos for the tank right now, guys. Just so that we can see him. Even if we have these algae and really hot overcast days. So I got myself some black piping here. I have Bob. Bob's over there looking a little limp. Bob, are you okay, Bob? Bob wa walks with a limp, it's all right. But anyways, guys, I have the piping here. I've made some couple adjustments, made the room. Now, I had a huge plan for this side of the house here. It was to be a multi-level pond like Catch em All Fishing has. We had talked about it, and he was the first one to design it in his house, and we're talking about doing it in my house. And But right now, I just need something temporary to move those fish because I want nothing to happen to Moby. So I have this pond liner here. Well, more like it's just this tarp. I like to lay tarp here, and this tarp is good to go. Now this is our pond right here. Come check it out, guys. It's gonna be a 13 foot by seven foot by three feet. So it's about 1,600 gallons. I do have some intel, guys, from the previous owner of those Paku that they have paired up and successfully made fry. Now the only situation is, we're just gonna have to figure out how to do that again and replicate that. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move those fish because I don't want to get rid of them. I love them, but I love my channel catfish a lot more. And on top of all that, I want to be able to see if we can actually make this happen and recreate like a breeding pond for these poppers. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna grab this boy and we're gonna set her up. All right, Slayer, so as you guys can see, we finished building this pond. It's 13.1 feet by seven feet by three. And it looks absolutely amazing. Take a look, guys. Now, there is a slight decline. Unfortunately, I don't have enough soil or sand to go ahead and level it out. But it won't be too bad because this pond's not gonna be filled to its maximum capacity. It's gonna be filled just enough where the water's gonna flow continuously out and then continuously in. So we're just gonna let this pond fill up, see what we can go ahead and smooth out towards the bottom of the pond. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to pretty much do your exit valves if you guys wanna have a free flowing pond. It's pretty much how the Catch em All team has it over here and Wild World of Farty as well. Uh, we have a certain system that we have created 
and kind of modify it as we continue to build ponds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and share that with you guys. So let's give you a few moments and it's gonna take a little, just a little bit for this pond to fill. All right guys, so what we're doing right now, Lakes Exotic Animal Ranch made it. We are making our exit valves. I'm grabbing a Sharpie and just going all the way around right here so I can make the perfect circle. I only have one chance to do this because once you cut the liner, you're done. All right, you can release that real quick. It's perfect. And then that's gonna be cut in the inside, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna cut this like a pizza and then we'll be able to put this thing right here just like that and then we're gonna put our grate on that side and that should be good enough we're gonna put be putting two exit valves guys so, uh if you only want to use one exit valve what you can do is get a grinder or something and you can cut the grates so there's a lot more flow going through but if your fish are small and you're trying to grow out some bigger fish the smaller fish can swim through and you'll lose your fish so that's why i choose these grates i'm not gonna have fish that are gonna be smaller than this so it should be good to go but that's a perfect circle. Now we just need to replicate the same thing on this side. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do in regards to cutting it. We just gotta make sure that we don't make one mistake and anything falls in there because we're pretty much cutting it with like a sharp knife. And if a sharp knife gets in here, that's the end of this pond. Yeah. All right, Slayer, so we went ahead and made our circles. What I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna make a hole right in the middle and poke. Oh, it's done. So I'm gonna cut nice and smooth all the way to the end. Just like so, like a pizza. Just like that. That's pretty scary. It is super scary. Gotta be very gentle. Right here. Cut that way. And then I'm gonna cut this side down. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of the tag ends pretty much. And try not to cut too much. Whoa! Close one. Use like an X-Acto knife. Just get what you need. Cause this is where your grate's gonna go. So you just pull on one end and then just cut, 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 nice and clean, nice and smooth. Just like that. And that's why you do that pizza method. It's just easier that way. Instead of trying to make a circle. That should work. So that should be good enough. Yep. And you're not gonna see those ends cut either because the grate's gonna be over it. Yep, exactly. You have that piece, you have this piece, Add some adhesive. I'll show you what adhesive we're gonna use, and we should be good to go. It's looking pretty clean to me. Nice, we just gonna do that side too. So Slayers, I wanna go ahead and emphasize, do not cut that hole perfect. You want to leave some excess for your screws to have enough grab on the tarp itself, on the lining. So I have some adhesive here. It's called Ultra Clear DAP. It's flexible waterproof sealant. Super good sealant. And I just like to put some here. Just not, not so much some here on the bottom just like that and we'll put some here on the top as well but the screws should do it do the job and i'm gonna put some inside the female parts as well just a seal a nice seal all the way around just like that nice good seal what is this? This is sealant. Okay. It's pretty much the adhesive. If I had four screws, we wouldn't need the adhesive. And I was actually trying to make my own screws for this grate, but it wasn't working out. You already added all around there as well? Yeah, I added all the way around there. So now we're pushed. We're all good to go. It's here and we're, should be in on both. You want me to get the drill? Uh, yeah, I just need to get it. Need to make sure that we can get it in here. Hold on one second before you go. Right there a little bit? Wait, wait. Go slower. You go for it. Perfect. Now get on this side. Keep it nice and tight. Freaking airplanes, bro. Every time. But, I think that was good. I should probably screw this one in just a little more, correct? Yep. yep, just like that. Now guys, I'm using 10 inch, uh, size 10, 
one inch screws come over here and see why i personally feel better if i see that the plastic is uh the screw actually got through all the plastic yeah, it's definitely. it's solid look at that yeah. nice and solid right there what we can do here is put all-purpose silicone as well i could put some adhesive but i'm running a little low on this prime time adhesive this is this is liquid gold right here but uh we're looking pretty good i'm just going to continue to go on this side right here so to rub more adhesive around give this a few moments and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other hole i do want to emphasize guys that this is fish safe it is this is the same method i've used on my other pond and it's the same method catch them on fishing is used on his other pond and wild world of far lake. like this has been something that has been engineered over time with trial and error so it's pretty good it's looking good we're solid nice and tight let's go ahead and do the other one all right slayers so right now i am siliconing outside the exit valve nice and smooth like a pro got that side now i'm gonna silicone this side here and this should dry momentarily because it's going to be on the outside water is not going to be actually reaching this area at all because of the outflow and we should be good right there check that out guys water should be going through here the adhesive is going to dry we have that extra sealant just in case we have any water leaking from the pop and the bottom and we'll Joey, we're ready good. for the big giant anaconda. <laughs> so this, this is going to be enough for two ways, correct? Oh yeah, it's 100 feet. Wow. It's 100 feet. This yeah, was more than enough for the there. last one, so it's going to be perfect. Dope. And where can they get this at? Lowe's. Lowe's. 75 bucks, 100 feet, baby. Dope. And the same thing with this. I found this online. Yeah. Fun fact. One and a half inch. Correct. Huh? 100 feet. 100 bucks. Online? Lowe's. Not get bad. everything online now if you don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> Where's yeah. your mask? All right, guys, so I have a bigger two of that adhesive I was telling you guys about. And now I'm just rubbing this all here. And I'm going to use this to pretty much stick that black piping on there. Just going to load that thing up here if you want to start pushing some over there. And I'll use my finger instead. Again, guys, this is all fish safe. I just want to make sure there's no leaks. The whole point of the whole, all of this is that everything's nice and perfect. And there's no leaks at all whatsoever. More? Yeah. Should work. There you go. This is pretty good stuff here. And you have those metal things as well? Yeah, I have clamps. I have we're gonna put this and then the secret is saran wrap. Endless amounts of saran wrap. So this looks a little ugly now, but I promise you guys it's gonna be looking nice and clean. Just like the other pond. Alright Blake, I'm gonna need you to do this for me. Hold that right there. Okay. okay. Hold the big anaconda. Yeah, and big anaconda right there. Okay. Right. In place. All right, we're probably gonna have to fast forward how many rolls this goes. It's gonna be a lot. So it's this on top of metal things, on top of a on lot of- On top of everything. And then after that, we're finally good to go. Wait, wait. You hear that? Guys, wait. Oh, it's going. It's trickling, hold on. Trickling, it's pouring already. It's not pouring. Bro, it's moving both Wait, sides. Let's go see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, we got water. We got water. We got any leaks? It doesn't look like it. We don't got any leaks, let's go baby! All right, Slayer, so now time for the fun part. It's time to move these crazy, very ferocious, fresh water, massive piranhas, the pacus that we know here in South Florida, into this pond. Because those are some prized possessions that will be joining Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch when he finishes that beautiful air very pond. It's coming soon. And they're perfect for that pond. So, and we always like anything that's big, exotic, monster fish. Yeah, so right. it's, this is a perfect pond for them. Nice isolation so they don't get harassed. Yep. Just in time for you to go ahead and prepare a little location where you can put, drop them off or another isolated pond and we should be good to go. But we're good. This is the same water. All we gotta do is go catch them right now. Literally.